Hi, my name is Rosalie Madden. I work for UVM Extension Northwest Crops and Soils team. Today we're going to be talking about how to determine harvest readiness for your hops. Um, generally you want to harvest between 20 to 25 percent dry matter. So what you want to do is you want to go out into your hop yard and select several sidearms and gather about 100 grams of cones of one variety. And then you're going to take those cones and you're going to weigh them and you're going to write down the weight. And then you're going to stick them in a dehydrator like we have here. Or you can stick them in a coster tester, uh, which you can see over here. And you want to drive all of the moisture out of your hops. You can use a microwave or an oven. Um, if you use a microwave or an oven, just be sure to remove the sample every uh, minute or so and stir it so that it doesn't catch on fire. Um, for a dehydrator, you want to leave it overnight. And we'll show you how to determine a moisture from there. So, so here, here you can see that we have written down, down the tray number because we do multiple samples at once. We labeled our, the trays in our dehydrator. We've, We've labeled what plot it is, or you can also label a variety. And this is our wet cone weight. We started it at 10 o'clock yesterday, and now we're going to weigh the dry matter. So you want to be sure that you have a fairly precise scale. Um, ours goes to tenths of a gram, and you either want to tear out the weight of the bucket that you're using, or write down the weight of your bucket. We've zeroed out the scale so that it weighs zero with the bucket on there. And then we're going to put the hops in it and that will be our dry matter because we weighed them yesterday when they were wet. So this is the dehydrator we've been using. Um, it goes up to 155 degrees Fahrenheit and we'll just leave it overnight. It's very safe to leave on, uh, which is part of the reason we like it. So when you take the cones out, you want to make sure that you don't lose any of them. They're very brittle when they're really dry. Tell when the cones are completely dry because they're very crumbly and pretty much disintegrate when you rub them. So here you see it says 9.6 grams. So you write it down, 9.6 grams, and then you do some math. So to calculate our percent dry matter, you take the final dry weight, which was 9.6 grams, and you divide it by its starting weight, which was 41.2, and multiply by 100. So that means that our moisture, this is glacier that we're, that we're harvesting today, is 23.3%, which means it is perfect time to harvest. Now that we know that the hops are 23.3% dry matter, we want to harvest them, but then how do you know that you've dried your hops down to the appropriate moisture? You want to target a moisture between 8 and 12%, which is 88 to 92% dry matter, to maximize the storage ability of the hops. Anything drier and you lose a lot of quality, anything wetter and they also lose quality and sometimes you run the risk of them catching on fire. So what you want to do is you want to harvest your hops and then you put them in the oast. But how do you know when they're dry or dry enough? The best way to go about it is to take those hops and put them into a sample bag such as we have here. We've used various materials over the last couple of years to make these sample bags and we'll show you a couple of different samples that we've been using. You want to make sure that you weigh the bag first and write down how much the bag weighs and then you want to fill it up with, um, with green cones, freshly harvested cones, and you want to make sure that you weigh how much the cones weigh as well and write that down too. So there are multiple oats that we use at UVM Extension. This one is actually a modified ostrich egg incubator. We used that last year to dry the hops and it works so well that we um, designed and modeled another oast that mimics the setup. You can find the designs for this on our wiki page on our website. So we number the trays in the oast because we usually end up harvesting multiple plots or multiple varieties at the same time. So you want to put your subsample bag in the tray and um, bury it in there so that it's um, so that the air can pass around it similarly to all of the other hops. So this is um, another material that we've made our sample bags out of. It's called InsulWeb. 
You can find it, uh, a lot of contractors use it. Um, it works really great. We just heat seal up the edges. It's light, the air passes through it great. Um, we've also used plastic mesh screen that you can get uh, at a hardware store. And again, we just vacuum sealed up the edges. The heat sealer just seals them right up. Um, and then you just kind of bury it in your hops. And then you can take it out and weigh it from time to time until it gets to your target weight. And your target weight is how much that known quantity of hops that you put in there is going to weigh when the hops are finally at your ideal moisture, between 8 and 12 percent moisture or 88 and 92 percent dry matter. How do you calculate that? Well, we'll show you. Figure out the target weight of our sample bag at 8 percent moisture. You want to take your starting dry matter, which we just calculated is 23.3 percent, and divide it by 92, which is our target dry matter. So 23.3 divided by 92. And you want to multiply that by the, the wet cone weight that we started out with, which is 80.2. Times 80.2 equals 20.3. That's our target cone weight. But remember, we had the bag there as well. And in this case, for this sample here, our bag weighed 55 grams. So we want to add the bag weight back in. For a total of 75.3 grams at 8% moisture. So we weighed our subsample bag, and it's a little bit drier than that, but not too bad. And so that means that our hops are at about 8% moisture, and it's time to package them up and stick them in the freezer. And ta-da!